Ma'am Lisa. Good evening po. Ayan. Uh, pasensya na po kayo sa boses ko. May namalat kasi ako. Ayan po. Uh, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Uh, nice kong ibahagi sa inyo na last November, hindi ko maintindihan noon yung sarili ko. Iyak ako ng iyak. Sa gabi pag natutulog ako, naiisip ko na sana hindi na lang ako magising. Pagod na pagod ako. Pagod na pagod ang utak ko. Pagod na pagod ang katawan ko. Tapos naiisip ko pa parang napag-iiwanan na ako. Nawawalan na ako ng gana. Tapos yun na, pakiramdam ko rin na parang walang nakakaintindi sa akin, walang nakakaunawa, walang nagmamahal, gano'y. Parang mag-isa lang ako, gano'n. Kaya hindi ko maintindihan basta ang dami-daming gumugulo sa utak ko, gano'n. Tapos, uh, isa si Ate, Ate Gladys sa mga naisip kong napitan. Kaya binahagi ko sa kanya kay Ate yung mga nararamdaman ko. At yun na, tamang-tama naman po na binahagi niya sa akin yung libro niya. At maraming maraming salamat Ate sa pagsashare mo sa akin ng libro mo. Habang binabasa ko ang iyong libro, nabibigyan ako ng kaliwanagan sa mga tanong ko sa, bu- sa buhay. Mas naiintindihan ko kung bakit ko naranasan ang mga, yung mga napagdaanan ko noon. Mas naiintindihan ko ngayon kung sino ako ngayon. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po ate. Sa unang bahagi pa lang ng libro, naiyak na ako. Yung sulat mo ate, para sa iyong 12-year-old self, ay nag-inspire din sa akin para sulatan ko rin ang aking sarili. Alam ko na ang mga karanasan natin sa nakaraan ay may epekto sa buhay natin sa kasalukuyan. Kaya sa gabing ito, uh, nais kong ibahagi sa inyo ang sulat ko sa sarili ko. Yung sulat ko sa aking 12-year-old self. Ayan. Ganito po. Dear Liza, alam mo, marami akong sasabihin sa'yo. Pero hindi ko alam kung paano ko, kung paano ako magsisimula. Sige, umpisahan ko sa pamamagitan ng pagsabi sa'yo na mahal na mahal kita. Matagal bago ko natutuhang sabihin ito sa'yo. Dahil matagal na nakabilanggo ako sa paniniwalang hindi ka mahalaga. Nasalat ka sa kagandahan. Nakulang ka sa kaalaman. Nawala kang kakayahan. Patawarin mo ako dahil hindi kita minahal. Hindi naman totoong hindi ka maganda. Ang ganda nga ng kulay mo, kayo mangki. Pati buhok mong buhaghag, ginaiingitan din ng iba. Dahil makapal ang buhok mo, bagay na wala sila. Kahit malaki ang mukha mo, hindi ka naman masyadong tinitigyawat. Perfect na sana kung wala ang iyong mga peklat. Ang ganda rin ng ngiti mo, kahit magkakalayo ang mga ngipin mo. Isa ito sa mga naaalala ng mga tao sa'yo. Kulang ka sa kaalaman? Hindi ba na nanalo ka noon sa Quiz B? Sumasali ka rin sa poster making contest at nananalo ka rin. Mayroon din paliksahan sa pagsulat ng sanaysay at nagwagi ka rin. Hindi lang, ilang, hindi lang minsan, kundi ilang beses din. Hindi ba nasa'yo pa ang premium mong dictionary? Marami ka rin kakayahan. Ang galing mo kaya mag-drawing. Grade 6 ka pa lang. May drawing mo na si Megastar. Ang galing mo rin kaya mag-drama. Ang husay mo magpapalit-palit ng boses. Natutuhan mo sa pakikinig mo ng drama sa DCRH. Ano ka ba? Mahalaga ka. Di ba? Walang magtuturo ng bata sa inyong kapilya. Pero, nag-voluntaryo ka. Kung wala ka, wala sana nga hawak ng Sunday School ng mga kapwa mo bata. Liza, mahalaga ka. Ang plano ng Panginoon para sa iyo ay napakaganda. Magtiwala ka. Ayun po, hanggang doon lang po. Pero, doon sa laptop ko kasi mayroon na po akong naisulat na karugtong. Ayan, mas uh, naiiyak kasi ako pag binabasa ko kasi yun, yung karugtong na ginawa ko po. Ayan nga, uh, maraming maraming salamat po ate sa uh, pagbahagi mo sa akin ng libro mo. 
na-inspire po ako na sana makagawa rin ako ng libro kagaya mo. Hindi man ako kagalingan sa pagsusulat, pero alam ko ang Panginoon, siya yung magdidikta sa akin kung ano ang isusulat ng aking, kung ano ang aking isusulat. Kaya maraming maraming salamat ate. Ayan po, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Yay! Nakasulat si Risa sa kanyang, ano, no, sa kanyang sarili at napaka, napaka makabuluhan at napakaganda ng kanyang mga sinabi at sinanggit doon. Maraming salamat, Risa. Maraming salamat. Ma'am Carmi? Good evening po sa lahat. Uh, so, it was July 2022 po when I unexpectedly received an exquisite piece. A book crafted delicately with words that are really mind-blowing. When teacher Gladys asked me to give feedback po initially on the book, I feel delighted as she is one of the artists that I really look up to. And at the same time, I feel the responsibility of providing a relevant feedback, which I did not think I achieved. <laughs> So when, this, when I start reading the book, po, I honestly have a dictionary beside me, searching the words, the familiar words, trying to comprehend the metaphors. So as clear as its title, po, the power of metaphors, there are indeed, uh, there is indeed a power in the metaphors and its thinking. So I thought, po, this is not just a book of teacher Gladys experiences, but this is also a work of art that will teach us to seek more learning. Secondly po, hindi ko po alam kung ako lang, but while reading the book, there is a feeling of liberation. The word transcend, as we all know, means keep going, going beyond, exceeding your limitation. Hence, I felt the same sense of freedom unveiling while reading or going through each chapter. Lastly, we can all agree po that the entire book provides meaningful messages that will leave us in a place of contemplation. Katulad po ni Teacher Riza, uh, nagkaroon po siya ng moment for herself nung binasa na yung libro. So I also felt the same way po. It, it left me in a room to contemplate, to reflect on my own experiences as well. So among all the con- compelling things po doon sa book, the topic I am most fascinated about is the dust till dawn. So nabasa naman po siguro natin yung the dust till dawn. So this is the experience of Teacher Gladys po. As, um, um, as Teacher Gladys creatively shared her unending passion and ministry on educational field, na sometimes there are stagnant um it's stagnant seasons of our lives, but then we will discover a new thing. So the metaphors of dusk, which we all have, which I also have, these are the dark moments of our lives, the hardships, the sufferings. So the kanina nga po nang papauwi ako, tinitingnan ko yung the dusk, yung paglubog ng araw. At naalala ko <laughs> yung sa book ni Teacher Gladys na, oh nga, there are times that, and I think we need to uh, na dumaan po sa mga ganong pati ng ating buhay. And the hope, of course, that we will seek or that we that we will gain through the dawn sa pagbukang liwayway, which reminds us that every morning, we can be an overcomer like Teacher Daddy, only through the one who orchestrated the dawn and dawn. So happy transcend evening to us all po. Thank you, Teacher Glad, for this opportunity po. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Miss Carmi Erika. Uh, Nanotice nyo ba? Uh, nung nakarating sa kanya yun, ini-edit pa siya, right? So binago ko yung, ano, binago ko yung from dusk till dawn, ginawa ko siyang the promise of dusk is dawn. Yun. So nung nakarating kay uh, kay Erica nun, talagang uh, ano pa siya, talagang uh, bagong-bagong gawa. Right? So, yun. Thank you so much, Miss Carney. Thank you. Such wonderful ano, uh, insights and reflections. Thank you. 
Sir Cristo? Um, <clears throat> so, last time po nung book launch, merong notebook, tapos nakalagay, uh, you can write anything you want to tell the author. So, ang sinulat ko, uh, this book offers two things, courage and brilliance. And today, I want to expound on that idea. Why did I say that this book is all about courage and brilliance? First, I mentioned courage kasi it takes bravery to share parts of yourself. It takes bravery to share your truth. Imagine, Dr. Mangiduyos wrote about COVID scare. She mentioned how she was abandoned. She mentioned how she grieved. She mentioned about her traumas. It takes a certain bravery to remind yourself, to recall those moments and to share them to the world. We don't want to remember our most painful events in our life, much isulat pa natin sa libro at hayaang mabasa ng ibang tao. It takes courage. And it's not about the go- it's not just about the bad things but also the good things. Mapapangiti ka kapag nabasa mo yung libro. Yung iba umiyak. Tama. Because most are painful stories but there are some good stories. Mababasa mo yung reaction ni Mang Gladys when she first saw the Statue of Liberty or when she discovered that music was one of her calling. Tapos, ito pala ang teacher na magaling magsalita eh. Aba, mahusay din pala sa matematika. So, again, it takes courage to share your truth. And, and I envy her for that. Because I myself do not share most of things I feel or most of things I experience. Sana meron din tayong tapang na ibahagi ang ating sarili sa mundo. Next, it takes brilliance. Siguro po walang magpapanggap sa atin, nung binabasa ko itong libro na to, walang magpapanggap sa atin na hindi gumamit ng diksyonary o nahirapang intindihan. But I want to explain, I want to defend <laughs> the creative choices of the author. We use metaphors and deep words to approximate our truth. I said that dun sa letter. But what do I mean by it? Sometimes words are one-dimensional. For example, I want to say, I love you. But the word love is one two-dimensional, di ba? It's just too simple. It does not encapsulate what we feel. But if the author uses figures of speech, if sinabi ng author, whenever I see you under the sunshine, my, my heart feels warm. So, as you can see, yung, gag- yung paggamit ng description na describe yung yung emotion. The author brought us closer to her truth. And this is what is extremely good about this book. You are not reading the story of Gladys. You are experiencing the story of Gladys. Kaya ka umihiya kasi when you read the part where she's facing the COVID ward, yung sa mother niya, pakiramdam mo ikaw yun eh. Because she used the right words. She used the right figures of speech. And this book, is entitled Transcend, right? It offers the answer to how to rise above adversity of life. And that's yung two keys, yung dalawang sagot, how to transcend life, ay yung binanggit ko. Courage and brilliance. Courage. As you can see, Mang Gladys, Dr. Mangiduyos, she keeps on showing up no matter how difficult things are, no matter sunod-sunod yung pagkatalo, yung sunod-sunod na paghihirap, she keeps showing up and that's courage. That's what she keeps telling us. If you look at the story, it's it's a series of challenges. And she wants us to be courageous enough to fight for another day. And lastly, it takes brilliance. It takes wisdom to understand that whatever we're experiencing, There's a reason for that. There's a lesson behind that. And we just need the right amount of focus and clarity to see that. So thank you, Ma'am Gladys, for this book. Thank you so much, Christoph. I I feel so um, honored and humbled as well. Thank you for all that. The, the more...